a couple of months ago, I made a video about upgrading your PC's RAM. To date, that video has been viewed almost 25,000 times, which for my channel is pretty good. Uh, but in that video, I only briefly touched on the subject of how to enable an XMP profile. And when you're spending a lot of money on high speed RAM, uh, I feel like it's important to know how to enable the XMP profile because uh, unless you do it, your RAM will not run at the rated speed that you paid for. If you're here simply to see how to enable your RAM's XMP profile, uh, then skip ahead to the timecode I'm displaying on screen right now and you can get right to it. For those that are new to the PC DIY community and are curious what an XMP profile even is, and why you want to enable it. Let's talk about that right now. XMP was developed by Intel along with some of their memory partners back uh, when DDR3 came out to make memory overclocking simpler. XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. Yeah, I know, extreme starts with an E, but uh, in the PC hardware world, uh, seemingly everything is cooler when you use an X. So that's why it's extreme rather than extreme. Using the XMP profile allows you to quickly and very easily overclock your RAM without having to go through the hours of trial and error tweaking that people had to go through in the past to get their RAM to run faster than its out of the box setting. What RAM manufacturers do is test their memory chips to see just how fast they can run. They then create a profile that is saved onto a chip on the memory modules themselves uh, with the frequency, timings, and voltage information needed to overclock that particular module to the speed it's rated at. And then they sort their modules out by their different speeds to sell to you. The current memory standard for PCs is DDR4, and the base speed of all DDR4 modules is 2133 MHz. Any frequency higher than that is considered to be an overclock, uh, and your motherboard and CPU will need to support those higher speeds in order for uh, that faster RAM to run at those higher frequencies. I talk about how to find out what RAM speeds your motherboard supports in my RAM upgrading video, so go ahead and check that video out if you'd like to learn more. Because the base speed of DDR4 is 2133 megahertz, when you first install new DDR4 modules into your PC, uh, they will run at that base speed of 2133 MHz. Even if you bought 3200, 3600, or 4000 MHz modules, they will only run at 2133 MHz until you enable the XMP profile in your motherboard BIOS. Naturally, faster RAM is more expensive than slower RAM, uh, which is why I feel knowing how to enable the XMP profile is important. Because until you do, you won't be getting the performance that you paid for. Now, you might be asking, what is the advantage of having my RAM run faster? Well, RAM is where all your files are loaded into, so your CPU can work with those files. The faster your RAM is, the faster your CPU can work with those files and transfer information to other components it needs to communicate with in order to complete tasks it's working on like running applications and games and whatnot. So basically, having faster RAM helps your computer run faster. Of course, there is a point that your CPU and other components can only do so much so fast and adding faster RAM won't actually make things run any faster than that. But overall, having faster RAM is good. Okay, I think I've said enough and it's time for me to shut up about all that and move on to showing you how to enable your RAM's XMP profile. To do this, we'll need to boot into our computer's BIOS or UEFI. If your computer is currently turned off, you can usually either tap the F2 or delete key repetitively after turning it on to enter your motherboard BIOS. Uh, in my experience, some other boards work with both the F2 key or delete key, while others will use one of the two. Um, so you'll just have to pay attention as your computer boots up to see what key to hit to enter your BIOS or setup. If your computer is already on, the, then you'll want to come down to the Windows icon at the bottom of the screen. Uh, click it, then click on Power. Now hold down the Shift key while you click on Restart. 
Right, your computer will then say it's restarting and bring you into this menu. Uh, click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, uh, UEFI Firmware Settings, and now Restart. Your computer will then restart, but rather than loading into Windows, you'll load into your motherboard's BIOS, or UEFI. Not all motherboard BIOSes look or work the same, so yours is probably going to look very different than what I'm showing here, but I'm going to show you how to enable XMP on a few different motherboards. Uh, I've got two AMD boards I want to show you, and one Intel board. Hopefully, between these three examples, uh, you will at least get an idea of what to look for in your BIOS to enable your XMP profile. Most BIOSes have an easy mode and an advanced mode. I'm currently using a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra motherboard, uh, which is an AMD Ryzen motherboard, and this is what the easy mode looks like. You can see right here under DRAM status that I have two of the four RAM slots populated and that each one has eight gigabytes of RAM in it with a base clock of 2133 megahertz. Uh, just below that is a field I can click on with my mouse or navigate to using the arrow keys on my keyboard that says XMP disabled. If I click on that field with my mouse or hit enter on it, uh, you see that it changes to XMP profile one and above it, it lists it as being DDR4 3600. And after that, it shows the timings and voltage. With that done, I can then click on save and exit, or just hit F10 on my keyboard, and it will save that change, and the computer will reboot. And now, our RAM is set to run at the 3600 megahertz speed we paid for. Now, I don't know that all motherboard BIOSes allow you to enable the XMP profile, from easy mode like this. So just in case your motherboard doesn't give you the option to do this in easy mode, let's switch over to advanced mode real quick and show you what you're going to want to be looking for. Uh, you'll usually find the XMP setting in the overclocking section. Uh, on this Aorus motherboard, it's under tweaker. If I come down here to extreme memory profile and double click on it or navigate to it with the keyboard and hit enter, it will bring up this box where I can select profile one. And then all that's left to do is to navigate over to save and exit and select save and exit setup. The BIOS for my Asus motherboard is actually pretty similar in its layout to the Gigabyte Aorus board we just looked at. Uh, but one of the big differences is for their AMD motherboards, Asus doesn't call it XMP. Because XMP is technically an Intel technology, ASUS calls it DOCP on their AMD boards, which stands for Direct Overclock Profile. When it comes to enabling the profile here in easy mode, that works the same as on the Aorus board we were just looking at. When I switch over to advanced mode and go into ASUS's AI Tweaker, you can see there's no option for XMP or DOCP. If I go into this first AI Overclock Tuner option though, you'll notice I can select Auto, Manual, or DOCP. I'm just going to select DOCP and it enables my RAM's XMP profile. And with that done, all I need to do is go to Exit and then select Save Changes and Reset and then hit OK. Now switching on over to the one Intel motherboard that I currently have access to. Uh, things are pretty much identical to the AMD motherboards. On the left side of the screen, we have our DRAM status where we can see we have two DIMM slots on this motherboard with an eight gigabyte memory module in each slot. And their base speed is 2133 megahertz. Just below that is where we can enable our XMP profile. I'll click on the drop down here and select profile number one. Uh, just like on the AMD board, it will then show the speed, timings, and voltage for that profile. And from here, all we need to do is go to save and exit. Before exiting, it will ask if we want to save the changes we just made. And you may notice here that it's showing the RAM speed is only going to 2400 megahertz and not 2666 megahertz. Uh, this is because the i3-9100 CPU in this system only supports memory speeds up to 2400 megahertz. 
Uh, Intel 8th and 9th gen CPUs only support 2666 megahertz and higher if the CPU has six or more cores. And since the i3-9100 is only a quad core, the fastest we're allowed to run our memory is 2400 megahertz. Anyway, let's click on OK, and now we can take a quick look at advanced mode. Since this Intel board is an ASUS motherboard, the BIOS is almost exactly like my AMD ASUS board. The only difference being when you go into the AI tweaker and then down to AI overclock tuner, rather than calling it DOCP, uh, since this is an actual Intel system, it lists it as XMP. We'll select XMP and you'll see the XMP profile information pop up in the field below here. And all we need to do now is go over to exit, uh, select save changes and reset, and then hit okay. The computer will then reboot and that's it. Okay, I guess now it's time to do all the usual end of the video stuff. I hope the video was helpful to you. And if it was, please do the uh, like button thing, uh, leave a comment, share the video with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I also have an Amazon store linked in the video description where you can purchase different things that I feature in my videos, RAM being one of those things. Uh, Amazon does give me a very small commission when you buy stuff through my store, and that money goes right back into making more content for the channel. Alright, I'm going to shut up and get on out of here. I hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one and uh, we'll see you in the next one and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next one I don't know what to do <laughs>